Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So today's, for today's Psychology of Color video, in case the title doesn't give it away already, I'm going to be talking about the color red. This fun little color. Or maybe not. It really depends. So, unlike blue, which just cores on calmness and mellowness a lot of the time, uh, with quite the combination of sometimes sadness or other things, red kind of hits the opposite side of the spectrum. Red is now the well-known features that red seems to be known for are passion or aggressiveness or anger. Those are like the three things it's well known for, but there actually is more to the color than just those three things. My favorite color is red, for example. Like I said in the previous video, it actually used to be blue. What changed that, though? Actually, if it was on a conscious standpoint, it was actually just visual appeal. But on a psychological standpoint, one personality trait really differed between the time where I liked blue to the time where I liked red, and that was approach. Either way, I was pretty much the same person for the most part, but when I, when I did like the color blue, I was way more, alright, well, I know what I want to do, and I would do it. But ever since I started liking the color red, I would go into something not knowing entirely how to approach it or knowing what to do. And I'd be stuck there just anxiously trying to get to the end of it for a long time. Colors are more of also an appeal thing. And yes, they can say a lot about your character, but that isn't everything about it. As far as your character goes, pardon the lag there. I'm actually keeping an eye on the uh, camera itself and I noticed the lag, so apologies for that. But, <sighs> as far as personality goes, what it says about you is that you're very energetic. Not to mention you're like mentioned before, the commonly known statements are like passionate. You can get angered easily or frustrated easily. Um, not to mention the last aspect of you get sidetracked very easily kind of the four factors that are most well known about liking that color. And some of these factors, like the color blue, apply to more than just the one color, but all of those factors apply to red specifically at least. But what about the outer parts? Well, like last time I'm going to bring up stores as an example. Walmart has the color blue as it's for its icon. Target has red. I have visited both and one thing I've noticed is when you go into Target people go in and get out. They're not in there for very long. When you go to Walmart you'll go in you'll be in there for some time. In fact at a Walmart most places there I've noticed that people have come up with this like hide-and-seek type game that only seems to exist at Walmart. But this is about the red ass. Why? Well, blue. It's calming and soothing. You want to be around it more often, more frequently. Red. It gives off the idea of, hey, we got this stuff, come get it before it's gone. It gives off that mentality. Even if every store has that aspect, it gives off Red gives off that mentality pretty much instantly. It, 
it gives off the get in get out kind of idea that's another it, to get to point out the point I'm trying to make about the color red gives the psychological idea of hurry 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 not take your time in a way red is that color that pushes you to do things as quickly as you can. It's an interesting factor, I think. But yeah, that's red. For those who have studied this like more for a, a more definitive job rather than a partial study like this, did I miss anything if you see this? If not, cool. If so, let us know in the comments below. If you're just like me, kind of like the common man, what have you noticed about this color that I may have missed, if you think anything is missed? Or is anything I've said something that's not been really noticed by you before? We'll definitely be going into more other outward colors in the future. I figured I'd get blue and red out of the way because those are kind of the most well-known in my book. Um, but we'll see what this expands to after this. For right now, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in this video, guys. Um, Want to check out any other videos in the Psychology of Color playlist? Click link on this side over here. Um, or if this kind of thing doesn't quite fill your boat, why not click link on this side where you might find something that suits you a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and we hope to see you guys in another one. See you all later.